Good morning, ICC friends. It's your girl, Xaviera, and I'm here with the morning scoop of the top stories on icecreamconvos.com right now. So Tina Turner is releasing a brand new autobiography in Inside. She revealed that she suffered from kidney failure and her husband stepped up and donated his kidney to her. Meanwhile, I can't even get you to return a call, you know, or a text message or bring me some Chick-fil-A with some extra pickles on my chicken sandwich, but I'm just saying it's not about me right now. But congratulations to Denzel Washington. He will be honored by AFI and he will receive their Life Achievement Award. Now listen, at this point in the game, any award you got belongs to Denzel Washington. No arguments, if ands, or buts about it. Okay, are we all on the same page? Are we on the same page? Okay, just making sure. Cat Williams, Lord have mercy, Jesus. Your boy done got cased up again. He is in jail as we speak in Portland, Oregon on fourth degree assault charges and an out-of-state arrest warrant. Can we just have a moment of silence for Kat? Just please hold. Okay. But yes, so Kat Williams is in jail. Apparently he had some type of dispute or disagreement that went all the way left with his driver who was taking him and his dog to a performance. Not his homeboy dog, like a rough, rough, bark, bark dog. So visit icecreamconvos.com to get the scoop on all of that. Iggy Azalea's Bad Girls Tour has been canceled. The tour done, y'all. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, put your freakum dress back in the closet. Okay. Um, yeah, so Iggy took to Twitter and let everyone know that the decision was out of her hands. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Live Nation released an email saying the tour was canceled due to unforeseen circumstances. Is that the new code for low ticket sales? Mario stopped by the Wendy show to perform his new single, Drowning. You know, it's so nice to see, Mar- like, just see Mario back. You know what I mean? It's been a minute. He dropped his new album called Dancing Shadows. I was like, ooh, that seems intriguing. I hear the album is good. I haven't had a chance to listen, but be sure to check it out and see his performance. Okay, so now I'm about to transport everybody back to like 1999. Shaggy Too Dope of the Insane Clown Posse tried to drop kick Fred Durst on stage during a festival in New Jersey. I was like, what in the WWE Monday night main event, Monday night raw is going on here. The reason why I shared this story is for no other reason outside of the fact that it is pure tomfoolery shenanigans. And it's funny because he didn't land the drop kick. Ooh, you gotta be quicker than that. Meanwhile, back in the black ink crew ranch, uh, Sky's landlord is suing her, Caesar, and Viacom for filming at Sky's rented home. Yes, keyword rented. Highlight it, please underline. Keyword rented. Apparently, the landlord was mortified when he saw the rental property that he had rented to Sky on Black Ink with Caesar and Air smashing all kind of thotterific ladies and Sky on TV acting as if she bought the property because apparently, according to the lawsuit, the landlord said there is a clause in there that says, number one, no one is supposed to live in the property except Sky, And number two, she did not have permission to film on the premises. Girl, y'all going, y'all just be risking your home. Like, okay. Anyway, let's talk movie scoop. So lots of great movies hit the theater this weekend. Venom, the Marvel, Sony, you know, villain movie, whatever have you, went to check that out. It was pretty cool, but it earned $80 million at the box office on opening weekend, breaking all October records to become the largest opening weekend for the month of October. So congratulations to Venom with it ugly. A Star is Born. I went to see A Star is Born yesterday and y'all, this film, There is not enough accolades that I can give Lady Gaga, Bradley Cooper. Now, A Star is Born has been remade more times than Little Kim's, you know, cosmetic surgeries. But this film is incredible. If Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga don't get Oscar nominations, we gonna have a problem. Last but certainly not least, The Hate You Give. It was a limited, you know, opening. It was only in 36 theaters, but the film 
hit the ground running very strong with half a million dollars in only 36 theaters, select theaters, mind you. So it was not playing everywhere and still managed to almost scoop a million dollars. All of these films are good, but A Star is Born and A Hate You Give are must-see films. You cannot let this slide by without checking out the film. Now, for those of you who are in an area where The Hate You Give was not, you know, in a select theater near you, no worries. It will be everywhere on October 19th. So be sure to go out and support this fantastic film. Now, on a sad note, it is with a heavy heart that I report Mr. Scott Wilson, best known for his role as Herschel Green on The Walking Dead, passed away. Um, just heartbreaking because on the show, his character passed away and I was devastated. So to know that he has passed away in real life is just even more devastating. It's almost like just reliving that devastation over again. And other sad news, speaking of the hate you give, the film's uh, screenwriter, Audrey Wells, she passed away literally a day before the film opened in select theaters. And last but certainly not least, in TV Scoop, be sure to tune in tonight at 9, 8 central for the season two premiere of Black Lightning. I absolutely love this show. I mean, you got a beautiful, strong black family and they got superpowers yes please yes please and thank you kindly so have a great day guys and i'll see you tomorrow morning for more of the morning scoop